guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use normal playing cards as tarot cards. So as you can see here, I have everything broken up into their individual suits. And this matters because each suit is representative of each suit in the tarot. And I will tell you which suit corresponds with which. But first, the Joker. You don't have to play, or you don't have to put the Joker in this in order to do tarot readings with them, but I do, and this represents the Fool. It's like the Fool of the Tarot. This is the only Major Arcana card that corresponds to the Major Arcana in the playing card deck. Other than that, you just have you know, your suits, wands, pentacles, and swords. First, we have the clubs. The... The clubs are similar to the wands in tarot, so everything that, every number that works with wands, like the three of wands, for example, would be about progress, that, all of the numbers correspond with that. Now, some, the only thing that's kind of confusing is the jack, kings, and queens. Hang on, let me find the queen. The king and queen are obviously self-explanatory. It could be the king of wands and the queen of wands, right? But the jack of clubs, this is something that kind of confused me. And the way that I personally read tarot with this is it's kind of like a knight. It's kind of like the knight. I thought it was the page. It can be a page in some cases, but I thought it was the knight. And... And I, like, I, I feel like it's both, honestly, depending on the reading. I feel like this is the knight and the page. So I will be linking a website that I use to help me with the exact meanings of each card down below. So I will be doing that. Now next is the hearts. This suit is equivalent to cups. So, for example, the two of hearts would be the same as the two of cups, which is about balance and love. And the same goes for the clubs, the same principle goes for the jack, the king, and the queen, as the other. The spades, and the spades is equivalent to swords, so just like the others, the jack, the queen, and the king all correspond the same, and the numbers correspond the same as swords would. So the reason why I really like using playing cards as tarot cards is because sometimes you can't, like, be doing tarot cards in public and stuff, you know? And it and sometimes people don't really approve of tarot cards. So this is just a way to do tarot readings without people feeling weird, you know? Lastly, the suit of diamonds is equivalent to pentacles. Of course, everything goes the same with the queen, the jack, and the king. It's all equivalent to that of pentacles. Same with the numbers, of course. So I will be linking the website I use to find exact meanings when I kind of forget down below. So be sure to check that out. So much for watching. If you would like to watch more tarot-related videos, be sure to subscribe and like, and I will see you next time. Bye!